G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you AI backlink anchor creation so you can build more backlinks with AI. Let's jump into it. Rank Lightning's live, guys. This is my tool. Jump over and check it out. If you like it, grab it. We have an awesome, awesome rate going on over there now. So ranklightning.com. It'll be linked down below. Check it out. Now, the reason for creating this video is I'm getting asked a lot about anchor text now i have made multiple videos so obviously that's why i'm getting asked a lot about anchor text when it comes to backlink building now the truth of the matter is it can become quite tedious in figuring out what you need to do now i did make an actual video on how you should go through analyzing anchor text to get it all right and spot on however however if you're just the average website you're a local business or perhaps you've done all that research and now you need to build more links and additional links to additional service pages and everything like that. What I've done in this video is I'm giving you the prompt that we've created to help you go out there and build better anchor text with the help of AI. So I'm going to show you how to use it and I'm going to give it to you on here as well. So you can just copy it use it yourself, tweak it. And then finally, I'll give you a heap, a lot of tips and tricks for the additional prompts that we use for the backlink building. Now it does get a little bit complex later on, but I'll explain to you on how you can use it and how you can expand on this to build your own model. So here's the custom prompt guys that you can use to help you build backlink anchor text with AI. Now, there's a couple of points and I'm going to read through this really quickly. So I need to build 15 backlinks to my website about roofing. Now, if you're using this, put whatever your website is about. So as an example, if you're a plumber, put replace roofing for plumber. If you're a bookstore, replace it for bookstore. You get what I mean. You need to use the following keywords as the main theme of the anchors, roofing tamper. So in this quotation section here, again, if you're a plumber in Miami, if let's say you want to change it out to the keyword where it is, block toilet Miami, anything along those lines, that's how you're going to use this, okay? So you would need to change out that as well because that's right there in quotations is what the prompt really focuses on and builds the keywords around that. Every single anchor you create should be completely unique and cover the theme of the target keyword. You can create anchor text that is longer to help cover the theme and to not cause a link building penalty. You must use entities and salient entities along with NLP and LSI terms of the main keyword and overall theme of the website. However, we have other target pages that we do that we want to rank for with other variations of the focus keyword. So make sure that you stay on topic. That's a very important sentence right there because sometimes she'll just get a little bit dramatic. Now, obviously roofing tamper, that's a bit broad. If you want to make it more focused, like I said, like with the uh, block toilet, there you go. It will sh it will keep you on theme. But when I show you an output, once we run it through, I'll explain some additional things that we need to do. Okay. Uh, so make sure that you stay on topic. Do not use any AI common terms like top rated and the little uh, dashes that they do, the dash there in any of the anchors because we don't want that that's very obvious that it's ai when if you put in any title if you tell ai to give you any title what does it always use so uh, this should pass ai detection from the best ai detectors in the world the roofing company is called ronnie's roofing and a leading roofing company located in tampa florida now i will explain you should add some stuff about the business. So like I've done there, you can put the business name. Now, the reason for that is what's going to happen is the AI will grab the business name. So then you're going to get some partials when it comes to the brand name, when it comes to anchors as well. So you get the keyword and partials. Now, I would personally put on more information if you have it, but just don't be too dramatic with it. So you want to make sure that you're focusing it on topic. So let's run this through now. So let's grab all of this and throw it into Claude. Now I'm using Claude today, guys. You can use ChatGPT, whatever you want. I, I personally really like Claude. Uh, I think it's pretty good. ChatGPT is also excellent, but Claude is fantastic as well. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the anchors that uh, it's spat out. So you can see the expert shingle installation by Ronnie's Roofing in Tampa. Tampa homeowners trust Ronnie's for storm damage roof repairs. 
You know, you can see what's going on here. It's grabbing all of those LSI, flat roofs, experienced Tampa roofers, residential and commercial. You can see that it's covering a lot. Now, I should have said too, if we come back over here, build 15. Put it out to however many links you've got to build, guys. If you need to build 75, if you need to build 55 backlinks, as an example, if you need to build 55, you can come through here, you can open up a new window, come here, paste it into Claude, and off she goes. She's going to build 55 for you. That's the thing. That's what's awesome about this is you can just, there, there you go. There's 55 on point, on topic anchors that you want to have a look at. Now, you want to make sure that you're reviewing all of these anchors. So as you can see, 55 is a lot. Is there going to be something where they're kind of similar? Let's have a look. Let's go through it and have a look. Expert Roofing Services by Ronnie's, Tampa's Trusted, Storm Damage, Tampa's Roofer Shingle. You can see that it's pulling in. So with roofers, you've got your metal, your shingles, your flat, your TPO. You can see all of this type of stuff's being pulled in as well. Now, that's good, but that's why we also have those couple of sentences where it's like, hey, don't go off too much. Because like I said, roofing's obvious, but if you're a block toilet, you don't want there to be talking about, as an example, if you've got block toilets, then you would have like gas detection or leak detection, as an example, as a plumber. Um, you wouldn't want that talking about your block toilet. So you wouldn't want those anchors in there when you're copying and pasting this across. But you can see it's everything's unique. This one, Skylar Installation, this is where it gets a little bit off topic. It's AI, guys. It's always going to get a little bit off topic. But you can see this right here. This is what you're really looking for because this is a little bit like, yes, it'll be an LSI. It, it will be something, even a salient entity, you could essentially call this an LP term. Now, this is where it gets off topic a little bit. So these are the things you've got to watch out for when you're using AI to create backlinks and backlink anchor text with AI. So you've got to make sure that you're focused on that stuff, okay? Uh, Faces, talking about faces, that's not too bad, that's okay. Can make so, uh, roof deck repair. So again, again, look at that, roof deck repair. So you can see that there's a couple in there. Tampa roof ice damage prevention. Yeah, we really going to need ice damage. Yeah. Ice dam prevention. I don't think we're going to need it, guys. So you just want to make sure that you're going through and looking all of this. Because if you don't review it, you pay some things in. You've got skylight. You've got, uh, what was it? Ice. You know, that sort of roof deck. It's not relevant to us, guys. It's not relevant at all. So always go through and check them. But as you can see, I just made 55 anchors. There's three or four in there that are not great. I'm going to rip them out. Wow, that was easy. That was easy. Now, the beautiful thing is a lot of this is unique. You can see that Tampa's constantly mentioned, so we're getting that in a lot of the time. Now, you can tweak this prompt. So let me walk you through on things that you can do and additional tips and tricks for using the AI prompt for backlink building. Now, when it comes to additional tips and tricks, what I would suggest that you do is you can also use your competitors. Now, you will want to have a expand this out a lot longer, but you can go through and grab your top three competitors, get their anchor text, and then just paste it below and be like, hey, I've grabbed my uh, competitors' anchor text. These are their business names, put in the business name, and these are the anchor text they've used. I also want to use it, this incorporated in your data. So use this to help you create those 55 unique anchor texts as an example. And what it will do is it will give you some things similar. Now, don't use it. Like I wouldn't be using this at the start of the campaign, so to speak. I'd be using this stuff more so midway through later on because you've already nailed down and you already know what you're doing when it comes to building the anchors. And again, if you don't, watch the video on anchor text analyzation. I have the spreadsheet up, we go through the calculations, we look at the types of links, like we look at everything. That's that's what I do. So watch that video. But this is just a great little hack, guys. It's going to save you a lot of time. Use AI to save you a lot of time. As SEO budgets start to decrease, people are looking to uh, cut things down. You know, this is a great way that you can save yourself a lot of time and a lot of money. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe, guys. Put a comment down below. It helps boost the channel. Put a comment, AI backlink anchor creation for me. 
Give us a hand like that, you legends. Give us a hand. Go over and check out Rank Lightning as well. See you over there. Have a lovely day. Cheers.